Hi everyone, this is Country Cuddlebugs Nursery and I hope you're all doing great. So today's video has to do with making modified pacifiers. If you care to see how I put my pacifiers together, then keep on watching. Okay, so for my little model today, I will be using Charlie from the Ashton Drake Galleries. And I absolutely love him. He was my second Ashton Drake doll that I purchased. Uh, my first was Sweet Baby Liam. And with both of them, they do not have magnetic um, or magnets inside of their mouth. I don't know if the newer Ashton Drake Gallery dolls are now starting to have the magnets in them. I'm not sure about that, but I know with Paradise Galleries, they have started making them with the magnets inside the dolls, which is really nice. But for the older dolls, or for the Ashton Drake dolls, they don't have the magnets. So um, I wanted to be able to make a modified pacifier so that when I display him, if I wanted to use a pacifier with him, I could do that for pictures. Now, my main goal with Charlie was to take him apart and put him on a cloth body. I do know of a couple of companies, well, one for sure that does make the body specifically for Charlie. And I just have to see if I'm able to get the body. I don't know if they ship to Canada, so I'm gonna have to check with that. If any of you know of a place where I could order a body specifically for Charlie I would really appreciate it if you'd leave it in the comments section below I have already started to add some paint to him if you can tell which I think you can tell here um, with this lighting this was the original color of Charlie but here you can see he's looking more uh, to life he has a more pinky complexion and uh, I just love how he looks. I was kind of just playing around with him. I did his tummy area as well, but I do have to do his arms and his legs. So I just love Charlie. He's probably my favorite from the Ashton Drake's galleries, and especially because he's a sleeping doll, which I prefer the sleeping ones rather than the awake ones. Although I do love many of the awake dolls. I just prefer the sleeping ones because I just think it looks more realistic. So I continue, or I hope to continue to paint him and hopefully I can find the body for him. If I end up taking him apart, most likely I will be adding a magnet to the inside of him. But for now, I have just decided to modify some pacifiers for the dolls that I have that do not have magnets inside of their head. So I'm just gonna move Charlie to the side and I'm gonna show you how I put my pacifiers together for these particular types of dolls. Okay, so the items that I have are a pacifier. These are from Dollar Tree and I love these because they come with the little case. And especially when you're making these types of pacifiers, uh, they do attract dust. So it's nice when you can keep them inside of a little case. I have an X-Acto knife, a little tiny pair of scissors. I have some Silpoxy and I also have the Equate soft silicone earplugs. So you've probably seen many videos if you have dolls such as Charlie that you were looking up videos on how you could modify a pacifier. And I did the same and I found many videos using the Sticky Tack. Um, and now I just came across these soft silicone earplugs and I thought that I would give those a try and I really liked how they worked. So I just decided to, since I needed to make a few, I would go ahead and share this video and maybe this is something you might want to try for yourself. Okay, so these are the Baby's Choice. Uh, they're actually also, these particular ones are glow-in-the-dark pacifiers. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is using my small scissors, I'm going to go ahead and as close to the plastic here of the pacifier, I'm going to cut off the nipple there. Okay. 
And these little scissors work great because you can really get down to the plastic. Okay, so there I've completely cut off the nipple. Okay, so these soft silicone earplugs, I bought them at Walmart, and this is not a sponsor video. I purchased them with my own money, um, but I think you could probably pick them up on Amazon cheaper. So this one here, I believe I paid $9, and you get four earplugs, but I do cut them in half, so that would allow me to make eight pacifiers. So I go ahead and take one of the earplugs. So they are sticky, but they are waterproof, so that is great. Now I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut this in half. And you want to make sure that you're very careful, especially using the X-Acto knives. This one here is very sharp. I use it to cut the vinyl for the Reborns when I'm cutting out the eye socket. Okay, so half I'm going to just place it back in my case. And then all you need to do is just stick it on the pacifier like that. And you're ready to use it. But with mine, I went an extra step further because I found, now the great thing is you don't have to apply a lot of pressure when you're putting this up against your Reborn's lips or your Ashton Drake or Paradise Gallery's lips because it sticks very, very well. But what I did find is after it's on there for a bit, when I go to remove the pacifier, then sometimes the earplug pulls off. So what I decided to do, now I already had this on hand and I had it for, I first purchased it for uh, Lily Rose from the Ashton Drake's gallery because when she arrived to me, she did have some cuts in her silicone. So this is called Silpoxy smooth on and it is an adhesive when you're using silicone because if you use E6000, uh, Gorilla Glue, hot glue, it's not going to stick to your silicone but this will. So then what I do is I just take a little bit of this and I apply it to the pacifier and then I just stick the earplug on and this doesn't take too long for it to adhere but I usually do just leave it for a little bit so that it can adhere nicely without me fussing with it Okay, so I have Charlie back here. Now this one, I'm just gonna let it dry for a while, but I did have one that I previously made, and I'm just going to put this on him so that you can see how wonderfully it sticks. Again, I love it because it is clear so that I know that it's not going to stain his lips. 
you know, leave any color on his lips. And yeah, I love how it's very simple to do and you don't even have to apply a lot of pressure with this. Like I found with the sticky tack, I had to really stick it on him good. But with this, it sticks super. And again, you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. I will, if I can remember, post the link to where I purchased my Silpoxy. I'm pretty sure you can pick this up on Amazon as well with the soft silicone earplugs. I did get these at Walmart, but again, I think you can pick them up cheaper on Amazon. The pacifiers both came from Dollar Tree. I love it because they come either with the cover or in a little case that you can keep them in. It's super easy and it works great. So guys, that will do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you will like the video if you did and share the video. That would greatly help to um, expand my channel. And also, if you are not subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. Well guys, you take care and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye for now.